why I thought that this was a, a typical of our our team that uh, you know we came out uh, and played really well early, um, and it wasn't just that shots were going in. We were we were we were playing well, rebounding well, playing hard on defense, um, and then like like we do, we we let up. Um, and then the game gets, I don't know what, I don't know what, what, what word to use to describe it, but the game gets, it's not necessarily sloppy. It's not necessarily ugly. It's not necessarily whatever, but it's basically that the other team, uh, once they get comfortable with how you're playing them, uh, they make adjustments and then we don't do anything. We don't turn it up a notch. We don't figure out a way to to make them have to make another adjustment. It's like we do one thing and then that's it. Um, and if we don't figure out how to handle that, then uh, it's it's going to be it's going to be an up and down season. I'm afraid it's going to be that way. You know, youth oftentimes is a reason for that, and it, it may be that for us this season. If it is, we just you know, guys, you you, you can't keep doing that. Um, but I thought that. Uh, that the first quarter, and I thought there were stretches in the third quarter that were really good. Um, but I didn't think that we sustained the kind of effort and level of play that we're going to need to to be to be successful in the long run. Um, you were talking about um, some new players who stood out to you tonight offensively or defensively. Well, there, our execution was, was better in spots. Um, uh, you know, I thought to me a Stanford rebound in the ball was was really solid. Uh, it's one of her first games back, and she's she's starting to get in the swing of things for us. And she's still not healthy, and I don't I don't know if she will be healthy. But uh, uh, her rebounding was was a little bit of a surprise to me. Um, you know, after that, I thought there were little spots where people played good. You know, I thought there were spots where Amani did a decent job. Um, but then there's spots where, you know, it's like for every good thing that somebody does, they're going to turn around. Amani has three turnovers in the last minute of quarters. To that, and it's like our turnovers. We don't just throw it out of bounds. We have a one-on-none, and we turn the ball over. And so some of that bothers me. But uh, I thought Maddie on the boards was good. Um and I thought there were some stretches where our post players did a decent job inside when we could get them the ball, uh, but we didn't do a real good job of getting them the ball. Um, so we got we got a lot a lot we got to work on. Weird stretch where you haven't been home for about thirty days, haven't played in ten days. Now you have another ten days before your last matchup before you get into conference play. Uh, what are you trying to learn now that you pass finals to focus on basketball for the next? Well, if we can figure out a way to sustain anything, I would like it. Um, I think that I think that this is the time of year when you're fine-tuning your team to get ready for conference play. It's like the last uh, the last hurrah before conference play starts, and then when conference play gets going, you probably got one other little tweak or change in your team before the tournament gets there. So. Uh, we're still talking about sustaining effort, and uh, and I, that that's going to probably be the thing that we have to talk about. But you know, the way you do that is you come to work every single day and practice and every drill, every shot, and it's got to be important. And uh, we're not we're not there yet. And uh, you know, I hope I hope we're there soon. Uh, but that'll be what we're focusing on over the next uh, really three months. That'll be what we're doing to try to you know if we're going to finish strong, we got to figure out how to sustain stuff something, or we don't even need to. We won't be any factor in the tournaments. Thank you. Um. Well, I saw the open three, so I took it when I have a, when I had a chance, and then uh, when I didn't have it, shot fake, and then took a dribble or a jump shot or penetrating the lane and kicked to my teammates. So that's what I saw. I don't know.
Um, ten days off from a game, including finals and practice, is very stressful. Uh, but we had to come out there every day, even though we had finals. We had to stay focused and we had to be prepared because we know coming out to any game, we got to be prepared to play hard or do whatever it takes to win because we know the consequences if we don't. So that's what it is. Uh, a bunch of your teammates scored in double figures as well. Um, what are your thoughts on your teammates tonight? If they were able to score in double figures, multiple people. Um, I don't know. They saw opportunities like I did, so they, they took them. Um, we had a lot of people in double figures. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot. I mean, having a team we have, we are able to do that because we have so many weapons. So when we have a lot of people in double figures, it's always a positive for the team as a whole. So, yeah. You guys were pressing a lot tonight. Um, you guys forced a bunch of turnovers. Um, how does that help you guys get into the, the flow of things early on in the game? Uh, coming out pressing, it always gives us a momentum. And then uh, we try to keep it up and maintain it. But it's a struggle, so we just got to work on sustaining it, just like Coach said. Um, but the press is always does so – it does a lot of things for us positively. We just got to go out there and do our assignments and keep it going the whole game. Anything else you want to add on, on your night tonight or your teammates' night? Mm, nope. Good win. All right. Thank you. Thank you.